This is Flip Mini Lecture number 24. And before I do anything in night 10.1 and 10.2, let's review the most critical formulas from chapter 9, which I've given to you in many different forms in the hope that each of these different forms and different examples will allow you to more clearly see what these actual formulas mean. Because it's very hard to look at a formula like this and know what it mounts to in various different circumstances. Here is the actual formula for the work. What you have to do is you have to break up whatever path the particle took into small segments, which here I'm calling delta r sub i. And that i, that little index i, runs over all n, capital N, segments. i goes from 0 to n minus 1. And you evaluate the force acting on the particle at each of those segments. And then you dot it into that little delta r sub i. Now, this formula is great. Except, you have to understand that you need to take the limit that the number n goes to infinity and that these little path segments get extremely short. These little path make segments, delta r sub i, actually stand for the delta x sub i, delta y sub i, and delta z sub i. So all those are going to be getting very short. And in that limit, you have the exact expression for the work. Similarly, I've given you lots of expressions for the power. If we look at a little tiny bit of time, then we have a little bit of work done. And you take the little bit of work done, and you divide it by that little bit of time, and you get the power. But just like here, you have to understand this formula as uh, only being exact and accurate in a limit, uh, this formula is only accurate if you take the limit that delta t goes to zero. So those are the two key formulas from chapter 9 and all the other formulas, like the formula that W is equal to the change in the kinetic energy. All the other formulas came from these definitions.